It is critical for retailers and wholesalers of any product or service to understand on the go what are their most profitable products, revenue and discounts, and geographical distribution as well. Belladotti Advanced Analytics and Framework were used to build the application for wholesalers and retailers of various products and services to provide a high-level overview and detailed insights for decision-makers at all levels. Our goal is to increase revenue by generating offers to online and physical shoppers to motivate them to purchase additional items. We will also demonstrate how to use Belladotti Analytics and Framework for market basket analysis. Market basket analysis is used behind the scenes in recommendation systems used by many brick and mortar and online retailers. The acquired correlation rules indicate combinations of items that are often purchased together. Knowledge of these patterns provides an insight into new ways a retail chain might increase revenue and decrease costs. For example, cross-sell or upsell effectively, optimize inventory, advertise promotions, or organize the physical layout of the store. For instance, if shoppers frequently purchase coffee or orange juice with a breakfast pastry, it may be possible to increase profit by relocating pastries closer to the coffee and juice. These techniques could be applied to many different types of industries. For example, for cross-sell and upsell of telecommunication or financial services, and many more. In this demonstration, we built market basket analysis for a real retailer with worldwide presence. However, for this demonstration, our retailer is fictional and data is made up. In transaction data, we have about 170 product categories for each transaction. We have transaction ID, store ID, the amount of purchases in each category, and total revenue. We will perform exploratory analysis. We focus our attention on categories that have high margins and high sales. We focus our attention on dark blue rectangles, which are items with the highest margin. The size of the rectangle represents total revenue for this product category, so that in our basket, other vegetables, beef, berries, yogurt, or bottled water are product categories with high percentage margins and significant revenue. Using associated views between the chart for profit margin and total sales for products and the chart for revenue and margin for product category, we immediately see full information for revenue, margin, and margin percentage. From the chart at the bottom on the right side, we see that other vegetables, beef, citrus fruits, brown bread, juice, yogurt, and berries are products with highest absolute margins. We will continue an exploratory analysis using Belladotti GeoMaps to explore geographical distribution in different shops. We explore total revenue, total costs, and total margin in each of four locations and see that the highest sales are generated in Mumbai and the lowest in Bengaluru, which is immediately apparent from the size of the bubble. This is important to know when we design marketing campaigns in different locations. Now we proceed to use Belladotti's market basket function and will calculate correlations between product categories. As we output, we get support and confidence. The higher the support, the higher the probability that two items from certain categories are bought together. Confidence is the probability that the purchase of item 1 leads to the purchase of item 2. We call item 1 the predictor and item 2 response. We use Belladotti's advanced analytics function and calculate probabilities. First, we will examine quality of our model. There are many kinds of descriptive and modeling outputs that you can show depending on how deep of a statistic background your users have. Correlation matrix is one of them that is fairly easy to be understood visually. The model should not include too many predictors that are correlated together. Otherwise, the output of the model is incorrect. This is a problem that is known as multicollinearity and can provide invalid conclusions of the model. Highly correlated predictors are marked as dark blue positions in our correlation matrix. 
Apparently, we do not have problems with multicollinearity. Now we have our model ready so that we can go to identify the most favorable category for cross-sell, our response item, that will help us to increase not only our revenue, but especially our margin. We should aim to cross-sell items from categories with margins from higher ranks, which have strong and frequently sold predictor items, so that as a result, we get significant additional margins from selling the response item. With the helping tool, we can have a look at frequency of purchases by category. The seven most purchased items are whole milk, other vegetables, rolls, soda, yogurt, bottled water, and root vegetables. Other purchases are less frequent. We know from our previous analysis that, for example, beef and berries are items with high margins, so we examine if they have strong predictors that are frequently sold. We can have a look at beef as the response and see that root vegetables is the strongest predictor it is as well frequently sold. It seems a logical rule as beef is often cooked together with root vegetables. For berries, the strongest predictor is whipped sour cream, which is fairly often sold as well, as it seems to also be a logical rule. For further modeling, we have decided to run a marketing campaign to cross-sell beef and chosen root vegetables as the predictor. Using a market basket model that we have built using Belladotti's advanced analytics and framework application, we can run a prediction of how much incremental revenue and profit we can generate in each store if we run our marketing campaign. It means how many customers in each location can be persuaded to buy beef together with root vegetables, which they didn't buy previously. We enter a campaign duration in days, the acceptance rate of the offer, as not all customers will accept the offer, fixed cost of the campaign per store, and variable cost per day for the marketing campaign. We may have additional costs per accepted offer as we can give a smaller gift or coffee. We can immediately see on the map the amount of profit that is generated in each location and if the campaign is profitable. The bigger the circle on the map, the bigger the revenue generated in this location. If the circle is red, the campaign is loss-making, so that we will not run the campaign in this location. The bar chart at the bottom shows revenue and profit or loss from the campaign in each location. The same information is available in table form. In the summary, we can get the total results of the campaign in all locations. Locations with a negative profit are excluded. We can further share and publish the model to share information with other departments in the company. This model is available as a part of standard Belladotti's on-premise and cloud license. Due to the Belladotti agility, you can easily adjust this model to specific needs of your company. Thank you for watching Market Basket Analysis by Belladotti. For further information, please contact Belladotti at contacts published on belladotti.com or our partners. Additional resources for partners as demo credentials or leaflets are available at Belladotti Partner Portal.